Hi everyone, this is Dawn, and this is part 17 of our retreat that we've been on. Um, we've just finished the incarnation and we talked about the hidden life that was last week. And so this week, we're going to focus on the portion of Jesus's life from the time he leaves Nazareth um, as an adult and walks to the River Jordan to be baptized by John, and then actually the baptism as well. So it's a very brief moment in time in Jesus's life, uh, but it's one that's pivotal. And so again, we're going to ask you to use your imagination this week, um, and uh, and use this as as you go throughout the week to reflect on this portion of Jesus's life, the meaning that it has uh, for Jesus, but also for you. Um, I have again prepared one of these nice handouts that will be linked in. You can, um, you don't have to print it, you can just read it online. I made the font slightly bigger this week because it was pretty small. <laughs> um, and so uh, I think all of us in some sort of way can relate to this portion in, in time in Jesus's life. Um, we've all had experience of having to, to leave home or to respond to a call of some sort. Um, of having to leave something or someone behind in order to pursue who the person we are that was created to be. Um, all of these things were probably going through Jesus's mind at this point in time. And so by prayerfully reflecting on them um, helps you to know Jesus better, but also helps you to know who you are better as well, um, who you are as a loved child of God. So as I uh, said this said um, this week, you're going to again use your imagination informed by your own experience. That's the other piece of this, that um, you have intellect and experience. And so you can maybe imagine what it would have felt like to be in Jesus's shoes or sandals <laughs> at this point in time because you've had something similar happen to you. Um, and so I suggest you do this week in two parts. The first part of the week, you uh, focus on Jesus leaving home. Maybe you start with very, what did the house look like? What did the outside of the house look like? Um, how did he know that he had to go? Maybe you have a conversation with Jesus about that. How did he tell Mary that he had to go? And how did he say goodbye to her? What did it feel like to take those first few steps away, the first few miles away from home, what was going through his head, um, what, what, was, what was it like to walk away from everything that's familiar into something that is brand new and unknown. Maybe you could start each day at the beginning of this week by asking the Lord to show you what led him to leave home and to start his public ministry. What were the things that might have led up to it? People he encountered, situations, the, a feeling inside, you know, all of those things. So if you start your day asking the Lord to show you throughout your day those um, instances, uh, then, then you go about your day keeping this in the back of your mind and just sort of letting the Lord rise to your consciousness thoughts or things that happen in your own life that connect to this. Um, so that's the start of the week. And then maybe midway through the week, you transition by uh, to imagining what the baptism was like. What was it like for Jesus to take those first few steps into the water? You know, he, he didn't need to do, he didn't need to be baptized. John was baptizing um a baptism of repentance so he could Jesus could have said to God uh that's okay I haven't sinned I don't need to do this act of repentance but um, so perhaps have a conversation with the Lord about so why did he do this what was this about what did this mean for him what did it what does it mean for you uh, you can imagine the scene as the heavens opened up and you hear the voice of God saying this is my beloved son you know can imagine being there at the time um, and so just take all of those things and then each evening take time to express your gratitude to God 
to tell them about what image really struck you that day, um, and maybe about some moment in your daily life that became different because you're on this journey right now. So it was there a transformative, not in a major way, but just something that was like, oh. And so take the time each evening to express gratitude and maybe take another minute or two of silence to invite the Lord to show you whatever he has in store for you. So blessings on this week.